Hi everyone. I want to thank Budgie Woost for posting this video, which he posted just yesterday, on the massive shark die-offs in California. And he talks about how our fabulous scientist and this biologist and and uh, environmentalist, all the experts, they're talking about how it's such a mystery. We're still hearing that from our mainstream media. The experts, it's a mystery, it's a mystery. Every single die-off, it's a mystery, it's a mystery. I am so unbelievably sick of it. I am so unbelievably sick of Americans not getting that these frequencies that we are saturated in are incredibly dangerous. The microwave, electromagnetic frequencies, the sonic weapons that, oh, they are using against us. They have used on um, um, our ambassadors and U.S. diplomats in Cuba, in Uzbekistan. <sighs> this has been going on for decades. Okay, so Americans just won't get it. They won't get it. They won't get it. And more and more people get killed off along with all of these defenseless non-humans. The, the defenseless four-leggeds, the defenseless bees and insects and sharks and dolphins and whales and beaching themselves and it's a mystery. Thank you. Because I didn't know that there were massive shark die-offs on the Pacific, right? They're, they're beaching themselves, they're dying off, they're coming, they're floating onto the beaches on the Pacific coast. And this has been going on for a very long time. Sharks dying by the dozens due to internal bleeding. December, or I'm sorry, May 2011. Internal bleeding. What could cause internal bleeding? Or a whole lot of sharks. Dozens die from internal bleeding. Sonic weapons. I posted a whole lot of videos on our Navy playing their war games, conducting their military exercises, right smack in this area with their sonic weapons. And the, the toll for the years that they have been doing this, the toll on aquatic life has been extraordinary. Extraordinary. And I'm sorry about my computer, but this is... I... I I don't know what the hell is going on with my computer. Massive shark die-off on California coast. It's alarming researchers this June 2017. This has been going on for years. Years. Dolphins, whales, sharks, all aquatic life have been suffering from our fabulous military. Massive marine animal die-offs have become regular news in recent years, especially along the western coast of the Americas where it is quite common to hear of pods of whales or other animals mysteriously perishing, perishing in great numbers, mysteriously. But you never do hear any of these experts, do they even bother to do any kind of research on what our military is doing? Well, there are, uh, there's numerous articles out there with independent researchers that have done the research to find out. But no, mainstream media, year after year after year after year. Global marine life die-off accelerates as we fight over a rigged political system. July 2016. 2016. Um, <laughs> are you guys having computer problems? No matter how many times I clean it up with those computer cleaners, seat cleaner, or what was the other one? Komodo. Komodo gave me, I don't know, an awful lot of porn notifications, I think, with that download. But no matter what I do, it's really slow. Mystery surrounds the deaths of dozens of sharks that have washed up on a Queensland beach. Yes, it's not just here in the Pacific. These are our militaries. The psychopathic militaries. 
psychopathic people who don't give a shit about life. And that includes the secondary psychopaths who are just those soldiers and those the military personnel who take the orders. Clearly, they don't care about life as well. Um, but the die-offs in California. Brain-eating parasite. Likely responsible for massive leopard shark die-offs. Now it's a brain-eating par parasite. In 2011, they just died from internal bleeding. 2017, now they're dying from brain-eating parasites. It enters the nostril, wiggles up, upwards through olfactory pathways and plants itself into the brain. Once invaded, victims can't be treated and will most certainly die. You gonna believe this horseshit? Hundreds of sharks dying. And hundreds of sharks suddenly got this parasite wiggling up through its olfactory pathways, planting itself in the brain. Really? Don't you love it? You frustrated yet? You want to click off this video? This is my computer now. The frustration is so mounting every single day. Can't scroll correctly. I mean, it's thousands of sharks. Other sea life mysteriously die in San Francisco Bay. California Department of Fish and Wildlife isn't dedicating any funding toward determining the cause. <laughs> really? It says resources are needed elsewhere. So they don't even want to determine the cause. The cause. As many as 2,000 sharks, October 5, 2017, as many as 2,000 sharks have mysteriously died in the San Francisco Bay, and scientists believe whatever killed them is now spreading to other marine life. But the Department of Fish and Wildlife, we're not going to determine the cause because it's not a priority. Wow, okay. Because the Department of Fish and Wildlife know the cause. Military. Sonic weapons. And they don't want the, the, the public to know because there might be an outcry. You know, those people who actually care about life and don't want to see sharks and dolphins and whales and all other kinds of life. They don't want, they don't want to see them suffer and die. So we're just not even going to bother finding out the cause. And that's okay. That's okay. These agencies operate from taxpayer money. Is this okay with you? I'll pause you for this one. Here, mysterious brain-eating shark killer identified, though questions remain. Okay, so, oh, a few days later, the Department of Fish and Wildlife, they determined the cause. But wait, you weren't going to be looking into the cause. But then I guess you did look into the cause, and you've decided that it's a pathogen, a microbial uh, pathogen, uh, responsible for killing thousands of sharks and rays between February and July. What is that? Is that the brain-eating parasite? Never do we hear about the military exercises being conducted off the Pacific Coast. Never do we hear about that. This has been going on for a long time. The sharks dying by the hundreds in San Francisco Bay, May 2017. 
You know, it's interesting to me that we could have <laughs> we could have mainstream media reporting on all of this technology, the weapons that they have, the microwave energy weapons, the laser weapons uh, that can um, control weather. We, we have mainstream media telling Americans that they have technology that directed energy weapons. That was way back years and years and years ago. They listened to their Secretary of Defense with the um, top military commander at, at talk about at a press conference. They were talking about laser weapons, directed energy weapons. And yet, when we try to talk to them about it, we get nowhere. We get that zombied look, that zombified look, that, oh God, you're a crazy person, go away. But they will sit like uh, zombies, staring at the TV, listening to mainstream media. Tell them the same stuff. Air Force has microwave energy weapon to zap North Korea's missiles. So when they hear that they have these microwave energy weapons, and this was posted yesterday, well, don't you think it would beg questions in their minds that, oh wait, I heard from my friend Carol who told me that they had some weapons, these, that microwave, oh right, she said something about these microwave frequencies that they're using it as weapons. But here it is. Air Force has microwave energy weapon. Maybe I should look into what she was talking about. No. No. There are so many articles that have been written. And, you know, they've been written over the years. Does military sonar kill marine wildlife? The frequency used in military testing could be harmful to some humans or to some animals, sorry. Um, it, yeah, it's, there are so many articles. Sonar exercises. Unfortunately for many whales, dolphins, and other marine life, the use of underwater sonar, short for sound, navigation, and ranging, can lead to injury and even death. When was this posted? What year? Where can I find the year? This information has been out there for such a long time, but for some reason, mainstream media can't seem to find it. The experts can't seem to find it. They never do talk about the sonar military exercises going on, killing sharks, dolphins, whales, the massive animal die-offs, mystery. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like Americans just not caring. And that is the majority of Americans. So, yeah, maybe I'll be saying this forever. That's why I really appreciate your comments because I see that I have a lot of subscribers who do care. All links are below.